Today I'm going to be reviewing my Toby Ecta mono suit. I'm going to talk about some of the technical features and all the things I love about it. This is the women's specific mono suit. It is non-insulated and in the color prune purple. They do have other color options, so I'll include a link in the description below so you can go to their website and check those other colors out. As we all know, it can be a challenge trying to figure out the size charts and what size that we should order. So I'm just gonna describe my body type a little bit and hopefully give you a better idea of uh, what size to order for yourself. So I am five foot five, I'm 155 pounds. Normally I wear a size medium in tops, uh, 36 inch bust and I have fairly broad shoulders because I have muscles. <laughs> For pants, I wear a size eight or 10 depending on the style and cut. I'm a 32 inch waist and a 30 inch inseam. I do have a booty. <laughs> so I do have to take that into consideration when I'm ordering as well. Toby does have a size chart on their website. I was right in between being a small or a medium I was able to try on a small and it felt a little bit tight around the hips and a little tight around the shoulders. Uh, the material has a ton of stretch to it, so it still was really comfortable moving around. But in order to layer up underneath, I went with the medium instead of the small. Originally, I had ordered an insulated monosuit from another company, but I returned it immediately. I put it on, it was way too warm, and I actually was told that I looked like a Teletubby in it. <laughs> so. That got sent back. Uh, the other reason I went with a non-insulated monosuit, most of the riding I do is out in the mountains, deep powder days, but I live in central Oregon, so it rarely gets below 15 or 20 degrees. So for those colder storm days, I can always throw on a couple extra layers underneath, a coat, um, extra long johns, but we also have 40 and 50 degree days where we're out doing spring riding. And so I wanted to be able to just go throw on the mono suit without all those layers and insulation underneath. For those cold powder days that I absolutely live for, I'm gonna show you real quick what I wear underneath the Toby mono suit so I can stay warm. This is what I generally wear underneath my mono suit. Uh, both these pants and the shirt are off of Amazon. They were super cheap. They're, they're really great quality, and it's just a fleece-lined underlayer that's perfect for going snowmobiling. On the extra cold powder days, I have this thin puffy jacket from Outdoor Research that I'll throw on. I absolutely love this thing, and it also fits perfect under the mono suit. If you're interested in any of these items, I'm gonna put the link to Amazon and to Outdoor Research in the description below. Now let's go over some of those features that I love about this suit so much. I'm gonna start by talking about one of my favorite features of this mono suit. Toby is one of the only companies out there making a women's specific non-insulated mono suit with the drop seat, which is so important for taking care of business when you're out in the woods. It's really easy to use. It goes almost all the way around your body. Hi, Boba, you gonna show them how this works? Yeah. All right, so let me just show you how this goes. Flap comes up. Hi. Up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good boy. Did you good boy? Okay. Can I finish now? <laughs> comes down. Stays out of the way. <laughs> Here. Is that a good look for me? <laughs> Thanks, Nuka. I prefer if you don't bother me while I'm pooping. One of my other favorite features of this mono suit is the Kevlar reinforced knees. So check this out. So this material has Kevlar in it and I'm a firefighter and this is the type of material that we use in our airbags when we're lifting like semis and buses and stuff in a vehicle extrication. So super durable, super tough, not only in the knees, but also along the inside of the boot and around the whole cuff. I'm kind of short and sometimes you end up walking on the cuff and it gets all torn apart. But this material is so strong, it's gonna hold up and look awesome. 
This monosuit is made with a Sympatex material, similar to Gore-Tex, but it's actually better in some cases. Gore-Tex is very rigid. It doesn't have any stretch to it. This has a ton of stretch to the material. It's very durable. It's waterproof, windproof, and it's just gonna hold up, I hope, for years to come. Here, I'm gonna show you proof of just how waterproof this thing is. Okay, just go, go. Just go. <laughs> All right, I doubt we're ever going to experience those kind of conditions <laughs> out there in the snow, but let's check. This is the first time I've done the uh, hose test. But it's hard to tell because I'm wearing black right now, but I am completely dry. So, success. Next, let me show you the boot gaiters here. So a lot of times this material is really thin. This stuff is super tough, it's durable. You have the option of both the metal hook here and, and this button. I'll probably honestly cut that off because I really just like using the metal hook. But this material is gonna be extra strong. It's not gonna let any snow get through so your boots are gonna stay nice, warm, and dry. We've also got the wrist gaiters here, which are super comfortable. The sleeves are a little bit long on me, but I don't mind a little extra length, better than being short. And they do have the adjustable strap, so they fit nicely. The suit has a ton of pockets to be able to store all the stuff that you need when you're out there riding, and waterproof zippers, obviously. Two, two chest pockets here. This one comes with an attached goggle wipe. Store that in there got a pocket here on your sleeve and then two down here on the thighs. I'm not really sure what you're going to store in there because it might be uncomfortable while you're riding, but uh, still nice, still nice to have all of this storage. The only thing about the suit that I do wish they had changed, I really miss having pockets like a normal jacket. I love having pockets here, but it is such a minor complaint. Everything about the suit is perfect besides that. This is a women specific mono suit, again, like I've already mentioned, but it does have the option to unzip from here, just in case you guys wanna wear purple and look good on the trails like me, so you can easy access to pee. But I probably won't be using that. <laughs> Inside, we have an awesome pocket made specifically for your cell phone, so you can use the touch screen and not expose your phone to the elements. So this is touch screen material. It's a really cool feature. So the suit also has these harness straps that keep some of the weight of the suit up, keep it in a comfortable position. The only issue I had with these is that they are adjustable, but not for somebody my height. And they are removable with those two snaps here. And I actually went in and took up about three inches of material and re-sewed that just so I could make them the proper fit for me. The last thing I'm gonna talk about with this suit is the tether ring right here. So it's got reinforced stitching on this, so it's super strong. And this is for the magnetic tether. So you hook your carabiner on right there. It makes it so easy to reattach. And if you fall off the sled, it automatically shuts off. I'm gonna also include a link in the description below for this DuraPro magnetic tether because it is a total game changer. It's so easy to use. It's pretty awesome, so highly recommend checking that out as well. All in all, this suit is absolutely amazing. It has almost all the features you could ever want out of your riding gear. The color is incredible. It's, it's really pretty. It's bright, but it's not overly obnoxious. It'll be easy to see me out there while I'm riding and making powder turns. Like I've already mentioned, there is a ton of stretch in this material, so it's not restrictive at all. It's super comfortable. It's easy to throw the sled around. And, and it's actually, I think, a pretty flattering cut, which is really hard to find in a monosuit. 
Thanks again for watching my review of the Ecta Mono suit. It's time to do a snow dance because clearly we need it. And hopefully I'll be able to put together a video of me actually riding in the powder in this thing soon. Bye guys.